Alright, so I finally got it working. Um, a Bluetooth OBD2 adapter here, and it's transmitting finally. I don't... can't explain how much trouble that was. Um, got that bad boy going. I had to set the Pi up over here because the power cable, the little micro USB, wasn't enough power. So I couldn't even get this thing to load, let alone hold a wireless signal and a Bluetooth connection. Um, after running the GUI on this emulator, or uh, on this program, um, was another reason why I had to set up this whole thing over here. Uh, I couldn't just load data. The GUI kind of needed to run to make sure it was working. So this is temporary until I can figure out how to adjust the program. <clears throat> so I'm going to mount this here while I get the, uh, so I can get in the car and throttle so you can see the adjustments made as I throttle. So here we go. So we know it's reading. Finally got some readings on it. Um, throttle positioning, intake air temp, degrees, engine RPM, speed, we can take all of this, throttle again, watch the RPMs in the center. Uh, it seems to be a little bit delayed but that might just be the Bluetooth transmission. I, I kind of went up to 3,500 RPM sitting here. Um, also, oh, we're not going to get any vehicle speed because I'm not moving. Um, that should work better once I get uh, either an, uh, an external screen for this or maybe get it working on my infotainment center in the middle of the car, which is also pretty cool. <coughs> um, yeah. So I've got this going, they set the diagnostics working, I can start to capture packets here. Maybe I'll be able to figure out what kind of transmissions I'm getting on the cat. Alright.